does submission usually hide lack of collaboration, promote a stance of incapacity? Well, if a patient is submitting to me, she's not collaborating with me. And I'd say to him, yeah, but if you submit to me, we'll have the same awful relationship here that you had with your father. Why do that? Because this submission is just the way you learn to hide with your father. But if you submit with me, then you'd be hiding from me too. So could we look underneath this facade of the submissive son and find out who you really are? You notice when you frame things in this way, now the patient says, yeah, I would like to take a look at those feelings. Yeah, I would like to find my power and capacity. I, I would like to know who I, I, I would like to stop having to be the submissive son. The therapy needs to make sense for the patient for him to do it, right? And, and, your, and pressure to feelings needs to make sense to the patient. Otherwise, they're just submitting to you and they're, I don't know why you're asking this, but I hope it goes somewhere, but I'm going along with it. Well, then we just have a, you know, we basically have a sadomasochistic relationship and we're calling it a therapy and we get into problems basically have a sadomasochistic relationship and we're calling it a therapy.